an academy let's crack it hello aspirants congratulations on taking the first step towards achieving your educational and career goals by considering the gre the graduate record examination or gre is a standardized test that is required for many graduate programs and business schools around the world preparing for the gre can be a challenging and time consuming process but with the right attitude and approach you can maximize your chances of success the key to success on the gre is to be well prepared and to have a clear understanding of the format and content of the test the gre exam paper patterns are covered in this video as well as exclusive bonus tips make sure you watch until the end of the video GRE aims to measure your verbal reasoning, quantitative reasoning, analytical writing and critical thinking skills. If you want to apply for masters or doctorate programs in a foreign nation, you need to take a standardized examination. Taking the GRE will help you get into engineering, humanities, sciences and any other field you want. Students with GRE scores are frequently accepted in the United States, Canada, Australia and Europe. Let's get to the primary point of this video, the GRE pattern. The GRE test is divided into three components. Analytical Writing Assessment or AWA is the first section which comprises assessing a topic or an argument. The second portion is the GRE Verbal Reasoning which includes reading comprehension, text completion and sentence equivalence. The GRE Quantitative Reasoning portion consists of mathematical disciplines such as algebra, arithmetic, data analysis and geometry this section's primary components include quantitative comparison questions multiple choice questions with just one correct answer multiple choice question with one or more correct answers and numeric input questions before we go any further you should be aware that there are two sorts of tests computer based and paper based as a result i'll cover both patterns individually the first type is computer based gre analytical writing consists of one part and two exercises that must be completed in 60 minutes verbal reasoning is divided into two portions each with 40 questions to be answered in 60 minutes quantitative reasoning is divided into two portions of 40 problems each with a time restriction of 70 minutes the paper based gre comprises of analytical writing with two portions consisting of two problems to complete in 60 minutes Quantitative reasoning includes two portions with 50 question each and a time restriction of 80 minutes whereas verbal reasoning has two sections with 50 questions each and a time limit of 70 minutes there will be a 1 minute break between the first and second portion and a 10 minute rest before the third section in general the exam would last around 3 hours and 45 minutes since you have made it this far in the video i like to award you three bonus points first A GRE score is valid for 5 years which means you can utilize your greater score as long as you like. Second, online tests are given several times a year but it doesn't imply you may take them all of the time. Also, it occurs 5 times a year. Offline examinations are scheduled 3 times a year in October, November and February. So plan ahead of the time. Third, Check that all of the information on your ETS application matches the information in your passport. This brings us to the end of the video. If you like this video, please like it and share with your friends. Please post your questions, thoughts and suggestions in the comments box and our experts will respond. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more such informative content. Until then, all the best aspirants, let's crack it.